This is gonna be a really hard list for me to do because I don't think that there is a dog out there that I don't wanna like uh, die, you know, because they're great and I love them, even if they're dangerous. So this is gonna be some good education for me. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bumblebee. I'm your host, Rachel Fisher, and today we are reviewing a bunch of dangerous doggos that have been banned around the world. Not my best one, I know. If this video sounds like your cup of tea, help us out by smashing that like button. Without further ado, here are our top 10 most illegal dog breeds in the world. Number 10, Fila Brizalero. A lot of dogs on this list were unsurprisingly bred as guard dogs, and Fila Brizalero is no exception to this. They are Brazilian Mastiffs who, to be honest, kind of look like a beefier bloodhound. Bloodhounds are known for their docile demeanor, but Filas are entirely the opposite. They were bred to be not only highly intelligent and agile, but stubborn and aggressive. So their guard dog persona is pretty successful. They are also used as hunting dogs and for keeping big game animals animals in check. But due to their unforgiving temperaments, courts in the UK, Malta, Israel, Denmark, Norway, and Cyprus have exempted this dog from being owned. Felas are also restricted aside from prescribed breeding in Western and South Australia, Victoria, and New South Wales. It takes a very specific owner to train them and work with them, otherwise they will go rogue. So these rules are in place to prevent just anyone from owning them, like me, who would be like, you're so cute, oh don't eat, kill me. Shut up, Rachel. Oh my god. Okay, number nine, Pitbulls. Pitbulls. I've gotten such a bad rap for so long. I remember when I was little, there was a pitbull outside on the playground unattended, and we had a lockdown. We had a lockdown because of a dog. But now you see them everywhere, and I have completely fallen in love with their dopey yet jacked demeanor. But what is a pitbull? There are actually four different varieties, and the story goes that they were each bred specifically for dog fighting and guarding. As a result, they got a reputation for being unpredictable and aggressive, and they lie that their jaws lock onto you. That's not true. But they have a very aggressive jaw. But oftentimes, when they were used as fighting dogs, they were pumped up with amphetamines and steroids, making them even more aggressive. But still, according to a study in the Journal of Forensic Sciences, pit bulls have been responsible for 42 to 45 percent of dog attacks. Pit bulls do respond well to training, as they've been featured in films a couple times even as like trick dogs, and have been police dogs as well. Nevertheless, due to the aforementioned statistic, many places still have a ban on pit bulls or they are considered at least very dangerous. Personally, I haven't met a pit bull that did not flop over and make me rub their belly, so I don't know what that says. Number eight, Neapolitan Mastiffs. Neapolitan Mastiffs look like their faces are in constant contest with gravity. There's so many wrinkles. They look like the Benjamin Button of dogs when they're born. But do not be deceived, or at least that's what several countries will tell you. It is illegal to own this dog breed in Singapore. Why? Fully grown, they can weigh around 200 pounds, which qualifies them as dangerous and shouldn't be around children. Neapolitan Mastiffs have an ancient history as guard dogs for as far back as ancient Rome. Their size and build is intimidating to passersby or potential thieves in the night. But from what I can find, that's that's pretty much it. They're actually very sweet, docile, and loyal dogs who, who just want you to give them some good ear scratches and pretend that they are a lap dog. So besides being crushed by 200 pounds of doggo, they aren't that dangerous. Number seven, Doggo Argentino. I apologize and warn you, I am so damn biased. I'm trying not to be though. I just love dogs. These dogs just look so elegant and majestic. They're just doing their thing, but they're actually prohibited in Australia, New Zealand, and Portugal, and the UK. Why? Well, like many others on this list, it won't be a surprise to find out that they're actually bred for hunting big game like polar bears, pumas, and wild boars. So these dogs could take on that which is insane. They were bred in Argentina to be highly aggressive and territorial so that they would protect their owner at all costs. They are recognizable by their short white coat, tall athletic frame, and focused gaze. So they're just like, all the time, essentially. So if you see a dog that looks like that, that's what that is. Number six, Tossa Una. Imagine sumo wrestlers, but as dogs. Epic battles like that included in sumo was what the Tasa Inu was designed for. The Tasa Inu is mostly known as the Japanese fighting mastiff as they were bred for, you guessed it, fighting. Duh. They can grow up to weigh around 200 pounds, so you better know how to train them. And it's 200 pounds of not fat, it's like muscle. They're just, they're so jacked. 
The Tassa is banned in places like Hong Kong, Ukraine, Denmark, Spain, the UK, France, Romania, Norway, Turkey, Dublin, and the US. Due to their aggressive nature and their history as fighting dogs, a lot of countries are afraid of them. As a general rule, they aren't recommended around children or other dogs and have been known to bite their owners, so they're not that loyal either. Number 5, Pero de Presa Canario. And here at the halfway point, we have yet another bull mastiff breed. The Presa Canario hails from Spain's Canary Islands and grows to weigh over 130 pounds. Also raised to be a guard dog, if trained properly, it can be extremely loyal and devoted potentially to a fault. One of the main reasons the breed was banned was due to an incident in 2001. A pair named Bane and Hera attacked and killed a 33 year old lacrosse coach named Diane Whipple in the hallway of her San Francisco apartment building. Despite the awful behavior from the dogs, the event was blamed on the owner Marjorie Noller. Apparently the whole apartment knew about these dogs and how aggressive they were to passers by and other dogs. So they kind of figured that these dogs could potentially kill someone. Noller was blamed for having the knowledge of how dangerous dangerous her dogs were and was convicted for not taking the proper precautions. Apparently the dogs had been trained to be fighting dogs in an Aryan Brotherhood fighting ring before she got them. She was convicted for second degree murder serving a sentence of 15 years to life. As a result, Pero Depressa Canario are banned in Australia and New Zealand and are considered dangerous dogs many places. Number 4. Wolf hybrids of any kind. Cute fact, wolves are my favorite animals. I think they are so cool. They are some of the most terrifying and beautiful creatures on this earth. When they look at you, they see through you. They also have massive personalities and are incredibly resilient. I love them. I love them. So I can understand why someone would want to be best friends with a wolf. I definitely do. Or at least half of one. But that can be a very deadly mistake. Wolf hybrids are often masked as huskies so they don't get caught. But what makes them so dangerous? Many people believe that their chihuahua or cockapoo are descendants of wolves. But they actually only share an ancestor. They aren't descended from them. Meaning that when they are Bread, the genetic waters get really muddy. It took thousands of years to breed flexible, trainable, and eager puppers to love and have in our home. Wolves have none of those traits. They have intense survival instincts that they will grow into whether you like it or not. They need tons of space and they aren't trainable because they just don't care. Developing the kind of traits that make for such loving cuddle buddies didn't happen overnight. So breeding common doggos with a wolf can result in dangerous levels of unpredictability and aggression something most owners will not be able to handle. Before we get to our top three, let's see if we can get this vid to over 100 likes. And also, if you're new here, remember to subscribe. We always appreciate the love. And number three, the Boer Boel. The Boer Boel is yet another controversial dog. Some say they aren't overly aggressive and are good with kids, yet somehow they are banned in Denmark. I feel like if the words bull and mastiff are related to a dog breed somehow, they're banned somewhere. The Boer Boel is an athletic like bull mastiff due to their close relationship to them down the breeding line. But besides that, the name literally translates to farm dog from Dutch to English. So finally, a dog was not bred specifically for fighting, but for protection, which can still make them pretty hostile towards strangers. This South African breed developed with various native dogs and bull mastiffs that were brought in by European settlers. Number 2. The Band Dog The name Band Dog was actually a term used way back in the Middle Ages to describe when a large dog was left off its lead to guard a house at night. So you can guess what this doggo was bred for. And since it's a combo of Mastiffs and an American Pit Bull Terrier, yeah, it's essentially banned anywhere its parents breeds are. They can weigh anywhere from 80 to 150 pounds and it's all muscle. Depending on how much lifting they do, they can get pretty jacked. It's like, hello, I'm Hans. Shut up, Rachel. The most famous band dog to ever grace the planet Earth was a doggo named Bantu, bred by veterinarian John Swinford in the late 60s. Bantu was known for his fierce fighting prowess and loyalty, something that's still appreciated in the breed today. Despite being banned anywhere pit bulls are, band dogs are often used as guard dogs. And last but not least, the Caucasian Shepherd. Is it a dog or is it a bear? Is it both? We don't know. This may be a dog you would want to have on your team, but definitely not a dog you want to face on in a scrimmage. Not only are they massive and have a bark that sounds like thunder, these bad boys are scary enough to scare off wolves. Check out this video of a Caucasian Shepherd puppy, a puppy, taking on not one, but two wolves.
right? Scared and impressed. Caucasian Shepherds are banned in Italy, Ukraine, Denmark, and are even on the list of dangerous dogs in their home country of Russia. Even though they look like the kind of dog you just want to tumble into a cuddle puddle with, they are, they are not pets. They are not pets. Don't do that. They must be trained assertively and with dominance at a young age, otherwise they won't follow your orders. If trained properly, they will defend anyone they consider family, including young children and animals. Though they are said to be good with kids, they don't see them as an authority which makes them dangerous. But give them a good hard job to do and they will be so happy and they will love the absolute crap out of you. But considering the size and responsibility necessary for this breed to thrive, it's being banned to avoid the risk. And that was our top 10 list of most illegal dog breeds in the world. Thanks for joining us on Bumblebee and remember to show us some love by smashing that like button and if you're new here, press subscribe for more, comment on what you want to see next and check out the next video coming up on our list. I've been your host Rachel Fisher and stay sweet honey.